35 News starts now with breaking news. This man arrested, accused of killing his husband at a home in Ocala back in March. The suspect walked into jail today. Thanks for joining us on this Friday. I'm Luann Sorrell. And I'm John Brown. Herbert Swilly is accused of drugging, strangling, and then beating Timothy Smith to death. You heard about this update first on Fox. We were the first to report this development, sending out this push alert as soon as we confirmed the arrest at noon today. And Fox 35's Patrick Perez joins us live tonight. So, Patrick, deputies say the suspect had been trying to to get immunity from investigators. And those investigators, John, refused to provide it, which stalled the case for some time. But earlier this week, they met with the state attorney's office, who determined that there is enough evidence in the case to move forward with an arrest, which happened this morning. And this is bringing a bit of closure to the family and friends of Timothy Smith that they have wanted for months. Every time Candy Baker steps into her kitchen, she's reminded of the childlike freedom her friend Timothy Smith allowed himself to have. We love to do that, to just be silly and to live in the moment and just be free. Till this day, she still can't believe he's gone. On the morning of March 25th, Marion County Sheriff's deputies found Timothy's body in his home in the Citrus Park neighborhood. His friends and his husband, Herbert Swilly, had been searching for him the night before. I never thought anything bad would happen. I don't think anyone thinks bad things would happen to your family or your friends or, you know, anyone you know. It was just as hard for his sister, Sandy Riles, to accept as they lost her mother just months prior. And then, then for him to, you know, something to happen to him, it was just... It's just been devastating. Fox 35 has been focusing on this case as part of our Central Florida's true crime files. In a one-on-one -on -one interview about the case, Lieutenant Paul Bloom described Timothy's murder as brutal. The level of violence done to the victim from the body that they saw uh, was certainly appalling. In the days after, Candy had grown suspicious of Herbert because of his behavior and some of the things he'd say. The husband, that morning I went there, I said, did you sleep? And he said, I slept like a baby. Though Timothy's husband is now arrested as a suspect in this case, Timothy's loved ones are still pushing for justice. Tim did not deserve this. No human being deserved this. He was my buddy and I was his sister. You know, that's what we call one another. So I miss my buddy, you know, but I'll see him again one day. And Swilly is charged with first-degree premeditated murder and tampering with evidence. Right now, he's in the Marion County Jail with no bond. Tomorrow, he is set to face a judge who will then determine whether he should get a bond. We're live in Marion County. I'm Patrick Perez, Fox 35 News.